Hey team, welcome back. If you have been following along, we're building an analog set of gauges for a sim rig uh, racing setup. And in the last video, if you watched it, we cover over how we're going to get the data, or telemetry data from our game, and use it to turn motors in, in the real world. Towards the end of the video, we realized that uh, using a typical uh, cheapo stepper motor wasn't really going to work for us because they don't have enough speed and if we were going to use a DC motor it wouldn't have, wouldn't have too much speed and we found that we could use this stepper motor that's out of a genuine sort of instrument cluster so it's designed specifically for driving sort of needles and gauges in your in your car and so what I've done is I've set up a jig here that's why I'm in this bizarre setting situation of um, just testing it then getting it up and running so over here we've got um, uh, two stepper drivers so I'm just going to do two for now so we've got speedo and taco and we'll do the work on the boost gauge and the other gauge uh, some other day we've got the controller here which is a Pi Pico so I'm programming the Pi Pico in the Arduino environment because it's it's what I know and chat uh, GPT says it's it's faster so I'm using it. they're cheap for what you get they're quite like quite powerful compared and over here I've got these um, motor drivers now the motors are 5 volts and sort of you might be able to drive them directly from the Pico but there might be some noise or something that could damage your controller so I'm using these uh, LN2998 I think they're called yeah L298N they're a couple of dollars each and for the sake of you know saving your your controller i thought it'd be better just to run them they're, they're cheap and they to take too much room and when i make the whole thing together i'll probably just stick them on the back, back of the motor so these motors are just your regular sort of stepper motor they've got four um, pins to connect up to an h-bridge driver which is what uh, just mentioned earlier so all the wiring and all that sort of carry on will be in my website with the with the accompanying code so if you want to follow along you can still can there this will be a new article uh, covering it so um, what we've got is I've got a couple of dials here which I just quickly made in um, fusion probably wasn't a great color to use for this example and we're just going to fire up some code to get it uh, up and running so fortunately some kind souls already created a library specifically for this motor so we don't have to do much work at all we are just got to put in the pins that the motor is connected to in this case it would be 0 to 3 and uh, this other steps max degrees, target degrees and that sort of thing and um, yeah it's just a quick script and what, I, what this code does when it turns on if you've got everything wired correctly it should turn the motor 180 degrees and back and forward like a window wiper I guess and it'll prove to us that the code's running so we'll plug it in and see what happens So we can see there it's moving back and forward pretty easily at 180 degrees or might be 200 degrees. This motor I'm pretty sure it'll do around 300 degrees. I've pulled it apart and it's just got a, like a little space at the stop of going the full 360. You could probably cut it out and would go 360 but I don't need to go 360. Obviously I just need to go around about 200, 280 degrees perhaps just to show the, um, the revs and the speed oh, or the speed in kilometers. So now that's part of the puzzle is completed, we've got a motor and we know how to drive it and from the last video we, we've got data and we know how to get the speed and the RPMs out of, out of SimHub so now we just need to join them together so Arduino will map whatever revs come in to a movement on this motor. So here's the code just briefly, I know it's not very entertaining looking at code but we've got our two motors set up here and as we scroll down a bit it's waiting for the serial data to come in so whenever the serial data comes in it um so i've got the first bit of data that comes out of sim hub is the rev is the speed and the next one across is the revs it's looking for the comma there and splitting those two values up and sending one off to one motor and the other off to the other motor so we've got rpm we've got speed and rpm um, integers there so we'll fire this down and start a game and see what happens all right so i've got one of a bit more pace now to um make it a little bit more impressive hopefully 
and put it in the gear. It looks like it, it does the trick, so we've got the dials going. Uh, I'm just going to work out the boost and the other one. But we can move on now and design the housing for it all to go into. If you've made it this far, you should totally subscribe. We'll be going through a whole lot of videos setting up these gauges, and you can follow along and make them yourself. Definitely check out the link below for my website, jasonwinfield.nz, for all the code as we go along and the step by step to get these little motors up and running for our gauges. We don't just do uh, some stuff here, we do aliens and arcade machines and all sorts. So if that sort of thing interests you, you should definitely stick around. Thanks for watching.